Hey everyone, this is Tobe. Just wanted to put a little another video out there since uh, a few of you guys just um, enjoy hearing some of the things that the Lord had puts in my mind with the struggles of dealing with the cancer and everything. And um, one popped in today and uh, just thought I'd spend a little few moments just putting the message out there and see if it has anything that can uh, strengthen you. But I was talking to a friend of mine earlier today that's also going through some struggles and um, physical things that they're not sure what's what's wrong and also has some different other battles, you know, finances and different things and was asking how I get through what I do. And, and uh, you know, we just started talking about how we just put all of our faith and trust in the Lord. And that does give us comfort and um, and just reassurance that, you know, the Lord will provide for us what we need. Uh, I think, number one, not need to necessarily have certain things, pay for certain things, but what we need spiritually, which I think is the, obviously the most important thing is to stay in the faith. And um, then I started just doing some digging, um, listening to Scripture, since that's the easiest way for me, since I have trouble definitely reading uh, since all this has happened. But I'm going to try to peek, and the reason why I keep peeking down is I'm looking at some things on the iPad. I went through... Uh, something that was in Matthew, and then it made me think of something else in Matthew, which may be a stretch to try to put these two sections together, but I'm curious to see what you guys think also, and if it makes sense to you, because again, it may be a stretch, but it means a lot to me, and I, I definitely feel that there's some connection here, uh, and the connection would be, I'm, I'm starting off with Matthew 7 first, uh, about the narrow uh, gate, and, you know, enter through the narrow gate, um, that it, it's wide, the gate's very wide, uh, the road is wide, that leads to destruction, and um, many enter through it, but small is the gate, and the, the narrow road, you know, that leads to life, and only a few find it. And I think of that, and that's that's tough to hear, you know, when you when you're reading that, and it's thinking, well, man, it's it's not going to be an easy walk to to carry our own cross and to walk with the Lord in faith, especially when we're going through struggled times. But then the other section that kind of kicked in with me, that made me again, maybe it's a stretch, but it made me feel like, man, there's something I think that may connect there that makes that easier to walk that narrow path is in Matthew 11 later on when I think about these Jesus's words now you know to take my yoke upon you uh, that my yoke is easy to bear and the burden I give you is light and I this is one of them ones where you know you think of what there's so many meanings that people can grasp out of this yoke when Jesus is saying the yoke but from what I can gather and remember, the yoke is something that's put on an animal, whether it's one animal and someone's holding the other piece, uh, giving it guidance, or it's two animals have yoke that's holding them together. It m always reminded me and made me think that it gives the animal accuracy and helps them, whether it's going straight or whether it's on a curve, it keeps them on the path that they need to go. So how interesting is that when I look back to Matthew 7 again and I think of how, how narrow that path is, and then here it is just shortly after in the same book of Matthew, Jesus is saying, take my yoke, his own yoke, and connect with him or wear his yoke, but it gives us the ability to do what the yoke does is keep someone on a straight and narrow path. I just put those connections together. It makes sense to me, but uh, I'm curious to see what you think, because that really gives me, I guess, a, even more hope to know that through prayer, that the Lord provides us with that. What, boy, that, what an instance that yoke makes and the importance that yoke makes when we're trying to walk through that narrow path to get to the narrow gate. Uh, but through Jesus, that makes that pathway so much easier to grasp. So I hope that that makes some sense to you as it does for me. Um, I, I wish you guys a blessed day. I hope you had a wonderful week uh, for some of you that may have had some of the days off with the holiday, with Thanksgiving. Boy, we sure all have so much to be thankful for. So God bless you all and uh, feel free to comment on this and let me know what you think.